days when I first met him, he was a little bit slow to forgive the Brits. <laughs> Uh, he kind of came round to it, you know, and he started to really, really, really forgive everybody, everything, immediately. And um, I hope you don't mind me saying this, Johnny, but when, <laughs> when Johnny had a court case involving his ex-wife, Amber, <laughs> and uh, Shane had a long conversation with you, didn't he, and urged you to forgive Amber. Yeah. Uh, he just thought it was the best thing to do, because he just believed genuinely in forgiveness. And I'm sure you have by now, haven't you? Of course you have. Of course you have. Uh, but yeah, he just wouldn't hold a grudge against anyone. He just wouldn't see the bad in anyone. All right. So, you know, I, I have mixed feelings about this because on one end, I understand where she's coming from, right? And uh, she's, she just wants to emphasize the fact that uh, her husband, rest his soul, um, was prone to forgive people many people are complaining obviously that putting johnny on the spot in public like this was not necessary and honestly i agree with you um but at the same time this also feels like um even though it was broadcasted this feels like there's a bunch of friends here in the room that they know each other very well it seems also that the wife here victoria if i'm not mistaken she knows Johnny very well. There, there is like, um, uh, th there is like really closeness, right? So I assume that that type of freedom of talking about things is different than if I ask something Johnny or you are, would ask something Johnny Depp, for instance, that we are total strangers to him. So to that extent, I understand this, but obviously you also have to, despite the fact that I think maybe it would have been better to phrase it differently or not to put it in this context because you see what happens immediately the news they pick up on this right they pick up on this not so much for the message that the wife is trying to convey here which is about forgiveness but using it to say like to put johnny on the spot like and somehow to sort of redeem this person in the public eye right they age like oh aren't you ready to forgive her by now right and the media is gonna the leftist media or whatever media that sympathizes with the abuser right because there's plenty out there they're gonna try to use this to put her back into a positive light uh, that's why i didn't like that she said this uh public because that's how the media is going to try to spin it but obviously when it comes to forgiveness most likely johnny depp has for forgave this person not so much because um you need to forgive this person like uh publicly or you call her and say go like ah, i forgive you no it's actually a personal thing you move on so you forgive your past you forgive you know the hurt that you've received in order to move on because holding on to resentment and anger frustration and hatred it's not good right but that's obviously something private johnny doesn't have to do anything publicly like and 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 for sure also no other survivor has to do anything publicly acknowledging that they forgive their abuser you know what i'm talking about so this is why i think all right maybe it would have been better but it's also not a big deal luckily uh they're not picking up too much on it and i think honestly that victoria here she really had her heart in the right place and she was poking fun at johnny because most likely they are well aware of the suffering that he went through they're well aware of the mean you know he received from the ex-wife so they're well aware of all the malicious behavior and that's why she's also kind of poking in my opinion i think she's poking a little bit of fun at him at the end now you 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 know you i'm, you, I'm sure you have forgiven her by now right because they're well aware of all that he suffered but you know they're close to each other so of course they can have a different conversation there anyhow it's not a big deal let's move on also let's not make this all about this person that has nothing to do with the funeral and the griefing and all of that and uh, that's it that's my opinion on this